In this video, let us see how to use the Gemini API and implement it in Python and create a chatbot based on the Gemini API. You can see that this is the chatbot that we're gonna build in this tutorial. You can see that it asks us to enter the prompt. The, for the prompt, I'm gonna give hi. We get a response like hi there, what can I do for you? The cool thing about this chatbot is that you can understand the context. That is the task that you have made earlier. Depending on the task that you have made earlier, it can give you the response appropriately. Let us see how to build this chatbot with the help of the Gemini API. Let's get started. For this, just head over to the a.google.ding you can see that we get a response like hi a for every developer after you go to the website click on Gemini API it will open up a new page something similar to this and click on get API key in Google AI studio it will open up a new page where you have the option to create the API key you can see that we have an option create API key but we will deal with this later Other, let me cancel that first we will set our models Other, click on create new prompt in this case, we can type our prompt or we can change the model we need for our project. For the demonstration purpose, I'm going to give you a prompt here. This is the result that we're going to get in, uh, into our chatbot as well. For this, I'm just going to give you a prompt like, you are an interviewer which asking questions for us. This is our prompt. Let's click on the run button to give the prompt to the model. As you can see, this is the response that we get for the prompt. If you want to change the model, you can do that. By clicking on the right hand side, we have here a model of Gemini 1.5 Pro. Click on that, this is the latest version. And if you want to change the temperature, you can do that by increasing or decreasing. You can see that we have a token count of 2 million. Chat GPT started the token as 400, but within the 18 months, we get a token limit of up to 2 million. And below that, we have a option of JSON mode. We will deal with that later. If you want to get the code for this, you can get code. This is the Python code for our models and the input that we have set. You can see the temperature is zero. And we have also the model that we have set, Gemini 1.5 Pro. And the history, history is the chance that we have given earlier to this chatbot. Let me close this. Let's actually change something. Let's improve the temperature to one and enable the JSON mode. Let's test the JSON mode now. Now if you get the get code, if you want to ch change something in the code, you can do this in this Gemini playground. Let's actually test the JSON mode. For the prompt, I'm gonna give something like introduce yourself. Now if I click on the run button, you can see that now it gives me the response in a JSON format. To change something in the code, you will have to do in the Gemini API, Gemini playground, or you can do the code manually if you know the basics of Python. Or if you are a beginner, you can do something in the Gemini playground and you can then get the code. Here you can see that now the response type is of the application of JSON. Let me close that and off the JSON mode. Let's click on get code again and copy this code. I'm gonna open up here IDLE. You can use any IDLE if you want. I'm gonna use the sublime text editor. I have a Python file here. I'm gonna paste the code that I have copied. We have to install this Python package to interact with the Gemini. For that, let's copy this command. Let's open up your terminal and paste that code here. With the help of this Google Generative AI, we can interact with the Gemini models. Just give you a few minutes, it will download all the dependencies we need. As you can see, it's installing all the dependencies. Now the Google Generative AI has been installed successfully. Let me close that command prompt. Next, we need to pass the API key. For that, let's open up the Gemini Playground once again. So let me Close this and click on get API key and create, click on create API key and click on this API key in new project. You can see that it's generating the API key for us. I'm going to delete this API key after this tutorial so you can use this API key into your Python code. Now the API key has been generated. Let me copy that API key and paste that here. Let's remove this and paste that here. Now we have set the API key. If you scroll down, this is the configuration temperature 1, max token size to 8000 and the response will be the plain text. And the model is the Gemini 1.5 Pro. If you want to change something in the code, you can do that in the Gemini playground. Here in the playground, you can change something and get the code. 
for example if you want to change the model to gemini 1.0 pro here you can click on get code and this is our updated model you can copy this and replace the existing one so i will skip this and stick with the gemini 1.5 pro so this is our history history is the charts that we have made earlier with the help of this it can understand the context you can see that user and the response we get this is our another i am ready to interview and this is the another prompt that we gave and the another response that we get for the prompt so let me uh, delete this history we're gonna build it manually let me clear this i'm gonna type history equal to history we're gonna create this history variable now let's create a history list now history equal to this will contain the empty list let's enclose all this code within the while loop while true we're gonna execute this let me indent this while true we're gonna run this let's also take a input from the user input user equal to we're gonna get a input inside this provide a prompt enter text or we can change that to we simply give me a prompt you after we get the input from the user we will have to pass that to the Gemini model further let me replace this with the user input this will be input user instead of printing that we're gonna store that in a variable model response equal to after we get the response we're gonna create our history by own before that let's print the model response and also upon this history history dot upon first we're gonna upon the user input for that the role will be the user and the next key will be the parts will be our user input this will be our input user we are also have to upon the model response for that history dot upon we're gonna change the user to model and the parts will be of the model response now we have before this let's actually print a welcome message i am gemini api how can i help you this is our welcome message now we have set everything to work for our chatbot let me type bot before this actually format the model response also here we're gonna use the f string this is also bot now we have set everything let's test this file now so let me copy the file part and open up the terminal we're gonna type python and the name of the file that we wanna run let's press enter as you can see we get a welcome message i am jimmy bot let's give you a prompt now hi we get a response like hi there what can i do for you today let's actually type another code another prompt write a python code let's actually give you a write a python code as you can see it asks us what do you want the code to do let's actually give you a specific example write a python code for a star pattern you can see that again it asks us to choose the right angle triangle or the diamond or pyramid the cool thing about this chatbot is that you can understand the history that is the charts that we have made earlier for example if i type right angle only we don't specify the python code you can see that it will give us the python code for the right angle triangle it will understand the charts that we have interact with it earlier you can see that it gives me the right angle triangle let's actually test the python what's the first command that we have given you can see that it correctly gives us the first command hi this is the first command that we have given and then we ask us to write a python code and we're gonna figure out the star pattern so this is the history that we have currently made python code for the fibonacci series let's see if python uh, gemini can handle this as you can see we get the python code for the fibonacci series now if we actually history now tell me about our chat history so this is why we use the history variable earlier right you can see that first we uh, greet us by asking a high message then we ask us a 
to write a python code after that we set it to write the star pattern then it it asks us to choose the number of rows and after that we ask us to do the q1 and q series finally we ask us to give the chat history so this is how you build a chatbot with the help of Jimmy api with the context that is the history this is for this video and i will continue in the next one